Hello geeks and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are solving 25 of our 30 Geeks for Geeks coding challenge. And the problem today we have is called a Spidey Sense. So it is something related to Spider-Man and it is a medium category problem. So Spider-Man is stuck in a difficult situation. His arch enemy Green Goblin has planted several uh, infamous pumpkin bombs in various locations in a building and helps Spider-Man to activate a Spidey Sense and identify the impact of impact zones. Okay, so there are some bombs planted and we have to you know, identify the impact zones. And he has a blueprint of a building in M cross and matrix and uh, that is filled with the characters O, B and W. So O is for open space uh, and B is for bomb and V is for wall. And you have to replace all the Z's, sorry, all the O's uh, in the matrix with their shortest distance uh, being able uh, to go through any wall and also replace uh, uh, bombs with zero with uh, walls with negative one and the resultant matrix if no path is found, it uh, corresponds to zero. But, yeah. So we are given a matrix and uh, we have to know simply find the distances like for the from for all the open spaces uh, that is it is going to get an impact from a bomb right for example uh, at this point so the bomb is in this location right so so the bomb will get impact uh, so this is going to be so this is also going to get an impact it is at one uh, distance and this is at two distance right and considering this so it is at one distance from this bomb right so this is going to be at one impact zone impact zone with one distance and we have to do the same thing so uh, if we have found walls then we have to simply you know um, replace them with negative ones and uh, if we have uh, bombs we have to you know make them as zeros like that i think uh, yeah replace bombs with zeros and walls with negative one and the resultant matrix and uh, for all the remaining cases we have to find the um, distance of the impact of a bomb that is like, what is the closest bomb Right, so this is the classical case of uh, you know searching in a grid. So we can use a binary, uh, sorry, we can use breadth first search, and we can maintain a queue and uh, at every bomb location. So if I have a bomb in this grid, I'm going to push this into a queue, and uh, so we have to do the search in all the directions, right? So we are, we are going to search breadth wise. So all the directions would be uh, immediate directions would be four directions: top, left, uh, bottom, and right. And again, so once this also satisfies the open case condition, and they're going to again push that into our uh, queue. So this is a classical BFS problem. So a grid problem. So let's try and implement that uh, using a BFS. So yeah, let's start coding. And uh, so yeah, let's initialize uh, an answer. Array. We have to return an answer, right? So I'm going to you know, initialize that. And uh, this is not a square matrix. It is M cross N matrix. So I can do something like this. So I will, I will initialize all the numbers with uh, negative one. So negative one for i in uh, range of uh, m, and uh, I think this has to be uh, again in a big list. And now we have to create this for all the all the rows as well. So it is going to be m, and uh, for i for, for j in range of uh, m. And I have to close. So let me just try and return this uh, to see whether it is working or not. I'm sure. I think it, this should work. This is the easiest way to create this in uh, Python. Yes, we have our. Uh, we are. We are. Uh, have generated our answer. Right now we have to you know, try and fill this. Right. So first thing that we are going to do here is uh, they said that we have to replace all the bombs with uh, zero. Right. So let's uh, do that. So initially we have all negative ones. Now whenever I have found a negative, I have found a bound bomb so i'm going to replace it with a zero and uh, uh, that is going to be our uh, uh, initial uh, no uh, bomb locations into our queue so i'm going to create a queue queue is going to be a so i'm going to implement a queue with a list so we'll, let's uh, traverse this for i in range of uh, i in range of sorry i in range of m and for j in range of n so we are doing m cross in traversal and uh, i'm going to say if let me just call it as uh, mat, mat if mat matrix of uh, i i if matrix of ij whether if it, if it is a, if it is a bomb right so if it is a bomb bomb will be represented by what capital b so if it is a bomb no uh, i'm going to say so answer of i and j 
uh, I will assign it with zeros because we are replacing it with zeros. And I'm going to add this to my queue. Q dot append of. Uh, so I can use a list. So I'm. Uh, so this is, list is going to be a pair of coordinates of i and j. So i comma j. Right. So now one. Now when I reach the, out of this loop, right? Let me just print out uh, what we are going to return here. So. So Q should be all the bomb locations, right? Uh, so it is giving me one comma one and one comma two. Let's see if we have a, yes. So at one comma one we have, have a bomb. At one comma two I have a bomb. So this is how uh, we have a, we got our bomb locations. And uh, in order to do the breadth-first search, uh, we need to first uh, define our directions, right? So the traversal can be done in uh, four directions. So let me just you note know, note down what are the directions, right? So I can travel in sorry if I can travel in one comma zero, like I can go one step up above. Or uh, minus one comma zero, or uh, zero comma minus one, or uh, minus one comma zero. So, right. So these are the four movements I can do. So if I currently I'm at x comma y, and if I add these coordinates to x comma y, I'm going to get a new point that is top left and right. So generally, when we are trying to solve these grid problems, we uh, maintain an array of uh, this. So, so in solving problems like for chess problems or uh, any kind of problems, we simply you know uh, keep these coordinates with us so that uh, it will be easy in traversing. Instead of writing uh, four statements, we can write only use uh, one loop, right? So let's let me say that uh, coordinates of sorry uh, coordinates of x uh, that is going to be what. One comma minus one comma zero comma uh, minus one comma zero minus one comma zero zero comma minus one. Sorry, it is uh, zero and one. Right. So these are the four possible. Things. So uh, I'm going to say zero comma zero. Right. Okay. And I'm going to say C Y. This is going to be uh, again uh, zero and uh, zero and uh, minus one and uh, one. So if I say uh, c of x and y, so it is going to be one comma zero minus one comma zero. So these are going to be our locations, right? Now uh, I can simply you know uh, run a search on my uh, uh, queue. So while queue that is while my queue is not empty, let me just pop the first element here. So we previously okay we don't have the output here, but uh, yeah. So uh, my current uh, location is going to be q of zero, right? Now, uh, since we have done first in first out, so I have to remove this q of zero from uh, q. Right, so q dot uh, remove of uh, q of zero. So q of zero will be removed from my list, right? So now I have to know I have my directions, right? So so let let's say uh, next sorry next x is going to be current of uh, sorry. So we have to do it in a loop wise. So for i in uh, for i in uh, length of uh, our uh, so what is cx? So sorry for i in range of length of uh, cx. So in our directions we are going to now create a new direction. So a new x and a new y. Right? So that we can call it as a new column and new row as well. So that's going to be uh, our current. Current thing weren't uh, is going to be cx right so cx uh, uh, plus plus uh, sorry cx no it is not cx so let's say create x and y so x is going to be my current x direction that is uh, current of zero and uh, y is going to be current 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 of one so this is going to be my current x and y. And using this, I will generate a new x and y. So new x is going to be x, uh, that's current x plus uh, d, uh, that is cx, cx of uh, i, right? So again, y plus uh, cx of i, sorry, cy of i. Now this is going to be, uh, now when x and ny are going to be my, uh, my new uh, uh, coordinates, right? That is, I'm moving from next location, and one thing we have to check here is that whether uh, uh, these new points that we are generating they are in the in the grid or not, because there is a 
uh, chance that while we are searching in the grid so we might go out of the grid so if that's the case so we should you not know, terminate that so our search has to be performed only in the grid so we can uh, uh, check that by saying my uh, new x has to be always greater than 0 and my new x and it has to be less than m and it can it can be greater than or equal to 0 right and the again my uh, new y has to be uh, greater than or equal to 0 greater than or equal to 0 and my new y has to be less than uh, column that is n right so if that's the case we are now we are going to perform our check right so we are going to check if uh, if uh, the current location we are in it is uh, equal to negative 1 or not if because if that's not the case then uh, it could be a bomb right so uh, if, if we, are, we are have to make sure that it is not a zero so i want to say if uh, answer of uh, nx and ny is equal to equal to minus one if that's the case again we have to check if uh, the matrix of new x matrix of new x and new y whether they are equal to a open space or not so open space is going to be represented by capital o capital o if that's the case then we have our uh, open space and i have to simply you know uh, add the distance into uh, my answer array so i'm going to say answer of uh, nx and uh, ny is going to be uh, the value at my uh, current uh, bomb that is return sorry answer of uh, answer of uh, what did we call that? So answer of x and y, and uh, it is going to be at one di uh, one distance from that. So x going to i plus one, and uh, once it is done, and sorry, I have to do it here itself. So once it is done, we are, we have a new candidate. So I'm going to append this candidate into our uh, uh, q that is going to be um, new x and uh, new y. Okay, if that's the case, then in the end we have to return our answer. Right. So let me just uh, come on this out and let me just see what's the output. There should be some errors. Okay, two one one minus one zero. Yeah. So it is satisfying the base case. Let me just remove this. Yeah. Let's submit this and see if it is working or not. So list index is out of range A as of A and J is going to be going to be zero. So we are getting list out of reminders. That means that our answer array is mismatching with our matrix. So let's debug why it is happening. So this is uh, okay. We did a mistake here. So it has to be N and M. Okay, because uh, this is going to create a number of rows, right? So it's going to be number of rows, and once we are multiplying it with m, that is going to be number of uh, sorry, it is going to create number of columns, and this is going to create a number of rows. So number of rows is going to be m, and the number of uh, columns is going to be n. Now, if I submit, then this should work. I suppose. Yeah, it it worked for the base case because the base case has m and equal, right? So that's the case, and we missed this uh, previously, right? So if uh, we have you no know, corrected that, then we have our answer and uh, it is running at a uh, pretty good complexity. So let me just summarize uh, what's happening here. And uh, so we have created an answer array. It is a replica of our given array, but instead of all the values, we are get, uh, only taking negative one values, right? And uh, uh, in the question, we are asked that you have to replace all the open space, sorry, all the bombs uh, with what? Uh, with zeros. So we are doing that. And once we are uh, at that point, so we are uh, taking co copies of all our bomb locations and adding that into our uh, queue. We are taking queue because we want to search for a breadth. Uh, we want to search breadthwise, right? So if I'm at bomb location, so I'm going to know uh, traverse to all the locations at which a bomb can uh, not uh, show its impact. And whenever there are open spaces in that, so I'm going to you know add. A, so I'm going to update the value in my return answer. That is uh, answer array. Uh, with uh, distance right so if it is at uh, one distance from our uh, r it is going to be added to one and if it is uh, it is being reached in second iteration it is going to be two and it's so on right 
so if it is um, as you can see right so this is a bomb and 0 comma 0 is not directly related to this so the impact will reach here because once the impact reaches to this location and when this location uh, is you no know, showing its impact in all the directions when we are searching breadth wise so this is going to show the impact on this direction right because uh, in top it is going to reach out of the bound and it is going to you no know, show this and uh, here the answer will be one in our answer array so it is going to become answer one plus one is going to get it true two sorry so that is what happening in the answer array so i hope this video was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video